This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2019 Swigert Museum AACA uh, Car Show. Uh, we're over here with Tom and his 72 uh, Valiant, Plymouth Valiant Scamp, powered by the inevitable uh, two and a quarter six. I think it's great. Now this is an automatic, correct? Yes, automatic 904 transmission. Uh-huh. Bulletproof? Always bulletproof. Now, you autocross this girl. Yes. Okay, what modifications have you done? It's got a full Hotchkiss uh, TBS sport suspension underneath it. Uh, all their parts. Uh, running 200 tread wear uh, Dunlop Dereza Z3 tires on it. Mm -hmm. um, there's a Woodwood brakes on the front end. There's a Dana 60 rear axle with uh, um, this on the rear as well. Um, seats have been modified for uh, obviously handling the turns and everything, and um, it runs pretty good. You Most must respectable shock. Respectable times. Oh, you must shock everybody. I usually do. That's great. <laughs> that is great. I mean, because she looks really basically stock. She's oh, amazing. Yeah. Yep. Well, that was the idea of, of just making it look uh, like a just typical hot rod. Mm -hmm. um, with uh, just uh, older style like torque press two wheels and everything but still having a uh, modern engineering touch to the suspension and everything like that to uh, give it an edge. That is great. Now to autocross, do you just leave it in first, second or do you put in drive and just go? It depends upon the course. Sometimes it's first and second, sometimes you're able to hit drive. It just depends upon if it's a fast course, a slow course or a technical mm -hmm. course. I got to check it out. You've got the regular column shifter of course. So it's a little bit bulky shifting in. Oh, this is bone stock. This is beautiful. I love your seats, by the way. Thank you. You really did a nice job on the uh, pull string. This is just gorgeous. Now, the only modification under the hood, you've got manual brakes, I see, even with the disc brakes. Mm -hmm. All right, you've got the asbestos around the exhaust manifold. Uh, you do, oh, you do have power steering. Okay, very good. Any other modifications? Uh, besides the power steering is actually one of the new uh, Borgensen uh, boxes for uh, Mopars, which has a faster ratio and everything. Mm, has a good. fast ratio uh, Pittman and idler arm on it. Um, as far as any engine mods, just basically mostly stock besides the uh, carburetors worked a little bit for better power and of course the mm -hmm. uh, uh, distributors work for uh, um, better power as well. Um, but that's about it for the engine. That, that, that is amazing, absolutely amazing. I know the original was about four and a half turns lock to lock on the wheel. Yeah, it depended upon what you had, uh, somewhere between uh, about 18 to 1 and all the way up to if you had a manual, all the way up to almost, almost 24 to 1 ratio. Yes. This is sitting around right about, about 12 to 1 ratio right now. I used to tease with my old Valiance was that uh, the windows had less uh, crank to lower and up, uh, raise the window than the steering had to turn it. <laughs> it's yeah. great. This is just a beautiful job. Thank you. Tim, I thank you very much. Uh, Tom, uh, excuse me. Tom, I thank you very much. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2019 Swigert Museum AACA uh, show uh, talking with Tom and autocrossing his 72 Valiant scam. For more cool events like this, make sure you check NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, and while you're there, post and share your events. I'll see you at the shows.